Alright guys, hey it's Noctium and I said I'd never do these uh, to no one, uh, but I said to myself at least I would do them. But today we're doing a Skyrim gameplay video, uh, so apologize for uh, a little bit of lag. But uh, today, because of generally because there's a lack of decent information on YouTube, as far as I can see, we're doing archery. So today I'm just discussing a little playthrough of this mission where the Ice, Ru Ice Runner quest on archery. So we're just I'm just going to talk you through what I'm going to do here and how to... Uh, Master archery, at least in the early levels. Uh, now there, uh, here I am, I'm just sort of taking, slowly whittling down the base of archery. Now what I'm doing is actually taking out uh, just the sort of uh, outlying soldiers. Because if you try and sort of target uh, the main guys in the middle, like Harangar or the lizard guy, you're only going to alert them to your position. So what you have to do is just play a sort of strategic game of just taking out henchman by henchman until you meet the, the other two guys in the middle who can take quite a few archery attacks so therefore uh, you know playing that sort of sneaky gameplay doesn't help um, but we'll get to that and how you can utilize archery to beat them so yeah there's a uh, gyra or gyri or something like that and you probably sh you'll know, be quite tempted to take him out and complete the quest but um, if you do that the whole base comes running to you and Based on the character I am, I'll be taken out quite easily. Even if I attack the base straight on with two swords, I'll be taken out. So, uh, we're going to whittle down the base of soldier first. I'll just take out this guy. Now, if we just take out these sort of... It's like kind of like commandos. Remember the game commandos? It's kind of like we just take out people who are just barely known. Just, and like the commander guy there, Commander Harangar, has got huge HP. And basically on this level, I'm on light level 6. And he's got an HP where you just can't challenge him. Um, and they basically they all come and wipe you out easily. And if you play this wrongly. So you just whittle them down a little bit and do it quickly. Because if you don't do it quickly, you take it. And if you can notice where I'm aiming. I'm not aiming like directly above their head or trying to compensate for any ballistics. It's actually the top reticule, the top of the reticule, which is actually where it's going to land. It's, it's just a bit of funny that way, just based on where you're sitting and stuff like that. So if you're a bit higher, it's the very top of the reticule. If you're a bit on on, if you're facing them directly, it's in the middle of the reticule or just a bit above. And if you're a bit above, if you're a bit below, well, it will come to that. Uh, but basically, you can follow it logically. So I just take it, this guy. Yeah, and about this time they get sort of alerted. This is the time where they start coming for me, and that's where I go for Jari Ra. Yep, and this is basically where they come, and I'm basically no match for Harangar and Jari Ra in any sense, so I quickly run down here. And this mission is basically designed for archery players, um, and it's it's quite an early mission, so you can sort of master it quite well. We'll soon be getting to the advanced bits. Hoping that I've actually recorded properly. Uh. Alright, they've gone. Um, I just wait for a while until they've gone. Uh, so that's basically archery. It's pretty easy to um, to fuck it up. And basically, one shot, one kill should be your aim. <laughs> I know that sounds really obvious and really patronizing, but that's basically it. There's no room for mistakes in archery. It doesn't take too long for them to get really miffed and basically make it a very difficult uh, prospect of taking out a whole base. Um, but basically, you would think, I, I'm a former f Fallout player, so I kind of took to archery because I kind of like to play with the gun, but a bow and arrow is much more than that. It's, you know, you have to utilize gravity and stuff like that. And here, I'm going to show you here. So he's Jari Ra and he's in his base. And you're thinking, I can't get to him, I can't get to him. So he's, he's surrounded by walls and stuff like that. So what you do is that the bow actually has a power meter. Not actually visible, of course, but about how much power you can put in the bow and arrow. So yeah, I hit that right there and I do it wrongly. Yeah, because the bow went, uh, the arrow went on an arch. It wasn't on a direct thing with him, but it went on an arch. I, take, I basically took out 70% 70 70 of his HP. And it was a really good, uh, really good fantastic sneak attack and I think you got a, you get a damage bonus based on that I'm not sure but as you can see right there if I just attacked him with a sneak I take out half his HP as early in the video but because I did a sort of looping arrow over the wall uh, I took out 70% of HP so yeah um, and here's 
how to use uh, arrows to alert enemies. Again, kind of like commandos, where you just you fire your arrow above their heads, and they go, what the fuck's going on? I better go investigate that by myself. Um, I go investigate the arrow, and then they come. So actually, at this moment, Harangar came out with Jari Ra, and he's very difficult to take out. Uh, so yeah, basically what I do here is I faro, fire the arrow above him. Oh, he's seen me. And I take him out. And here he comes, Harry Ra. Yeah, and I am dead. So yeah, I jump in the thing here. Um, and you can take out Ranga with arrows, but it is a pretty tough prospect. You, know, you basically have to use that basic strategy to fire arrows. Ranga basically looks when you fire arrows onto the cliff uh, to try and you know get him to you. Um, but that'll be a bit far too boring for a YouTube video. But I've done it before. Uh, so basically, yeah, that's um, arrows. Basically, tips and using your arrows and stuff like that. Um, to make sure you hit properly. Also, looping your arrows over the walls, which makes them more than just a simple medieval gun. Okay, cheer, cheer later. Bye.